That was a slick dodge. Uh, where to next? We're gonna go to, I guess, we can go to Gurgoth. I might do fuller playthroughs of, uh, of Portrait of Ruin and especially Order of Ecclesia. Because Ecclesia I haven't played in quite a while. And it's not for lack of access, I just haven't really sat down and played it. I started Portrait before, but I didn't finish it, that's for sure. I'm trying to think if there's any reason to go to Subterranean Hell first. I can't get through here. But I don't think there is. Because you really only need to go down there to get to the Ruins, which comes after Clock Tower. I feel like as a kid I would go to the Condemned Tower and then I would go to the uh, Subterranean Hell. And then I would go to Clock Tower, which is kind of counterintuitive, considering you can't really fully progress until you get Zephyr. I don't know why I went out of my way for that anti venom. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll need it. I know in hard mode, a lot more things poison you. Uh, there's a weapon up here that I want to get, actually. I think it's a Kotetsu that you can get from, like, a well-placed, either a Valkyrie jump or a, uh... I gotta be facing them. Okay, that Valkyrie's in a perfect place right now. I can't believe I remember that. Like, why do I remember that? It's honestly questionable whether or not it's faster than auto-canceling my greatsword, which I, I think it is. I think this is definitely my favorite area in the game. I'll try not to divulge too much on, like, why I like certain areas. A lot of it is just nostalgia reasons, you know, but I might want to do like an area tier list video. I don't think I'd be a good speedrunner because I feel like in my brain I would forget that I'm speedrunning and just go to like collect stuff. Ooh. Gale mail. I like the werewolf soul because you can do a bunch of canceling shenanigans with it. But you never really unlock the, the best stuff until you have like the chaos ring. It's just kind of a neat thing to see. I feel like this is the quickest I've ever climbed this tower. Should have paid more attention on that boss door. So I don't mess it up again. What the hell is even that? But yeah, this boss is a surprising amount of damage just based off contact. So I have to actually kind of take it slow. I definitely saw this at a a very young age, and it was very formative in terms of uh, just like how I perceive gore in video games. I'm not trying to be edgy like, oh, gore doesn't phase me. Like, this boss is still pretty gross when you look at the actual sprite. And the fact that, like, the skin of his face is wrapping around the rest of it. Pretty sure he doesn't take damage. I think I read something that says he doesn't take damage until he pulls his head out of the rubble. Yeah, first try. It's also definitely like way more lenient with how quick you do it. Be Gergos. That's Gergoth, not Gergos. What is the game that was made for Japan? I'm just gonna start adding in like shitty laugh tracks when I have bad jokes that like I know are gonna are bad. I remember a huge part of the fun in this game that you don't really see when you're 
either just not really doing it like a an 100 percent run or other stuff like that is the, the the soul synthesis system from yoko where you get like the different weapons because a lot of the weapons are only obtainable through that so you get the really end game weapons but the soul system within itself is inherently kind of farmy and it takes a lot of time to do certain stuff like that especially with luck that doesn't really affect a lot of the uh a lot of your ability to get souls. But yeah, this like the background here looks a lot more high res, where usually it's very fuzzy. I always thought this. Someone just has that shit on. Maybe I'm biased. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to die. That'd be embarrassing. What am I doing? Why am I why am I playing the game like a jabroni? I gotta be careful here because I don't think I've ever gotten through the second uh, set of pistons without getting hit. And I still don't know how. I think that's- I, I, I legitimately think that's the first time I've ever done that. Let me actually save in case I died a Zephyr or something. I feel like there's a way to Puppet Master through these. Honestly, I'll take the damage, I don't really mind. Alright, I just gotta remember the motion, really. That's the only thing that's really messing me up. Ow! I don't know if- the, I, I think the Medusa heads here are fine, compared to the other two games. Because in the other two games, they get obnoxious in the areas that they're in. Like, they're just the worst. We just hit an hour recording and we're in Zephyr. This is, like, pretty much unheard of for me. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven button presses. We'll figure it out. Here we go, Dio Brando. Obligatory, the world joke. I got you, homie! Go ahead. But like, if he isn't based off Dio, then what is he based off of? No. If you fight this guy in the middle of the stage, he's not bad at all. If you fight him against a wall, then he'll, when he does the jump across, he'll do two sets of knives. And he'll like, when he jumps off the walls, he'll he'll bounce off and throw more. It makes the fight more, uh, you know, there's just more variables. Dude, this is gonna take a while. They just like, don't have a good weapon. But yeah, when I was younger, I was definitely, like, just focused on damage and didn't realize that, uh... Triangle L1 circle... Ah, oh, it's R1. Okay. That one does- honestly, I can see how it gets harder, though. Because with the ones with multiple, you have to be you have to be quicker. All right, I, like I like I, I actually like it. I, I feel like some people are gonna be like, it sucks that when you have to try again, it gives you the big baby like press this button. But that's your fault for having trouble with the baby mechanic. Another chapel. Go fight Rahab in their horrible fight. Um, go ahead, I dare you. I will say the Subterranean Hells theme is arguably one of my favorite. I feel like it perfectly encapsulates what it's, you know, the area it actually is in. 
I'm gonna hit up the save. I'm pretty confident I won't have trouble with Rahab, but it doesn't hurt to be too safe. Yeah, so you could technically fight this guy way earlier. And by way earlier, I mean before Hello. you How fight Zephyr. I am under the water. I'm probably gonna get hit by being greedy here because this fight is just like, it takes so long. Ow! That ice does a lot of damage, actually. Let me not, uh... Let me not be stupid here. This is up there with, like, the water fights of all time. You know, any, any, any water level in most games is always like, ugh. But once you get the ability to move underwater, subterranean hell becomes not bad. It's just like, it feels like you never get to hit him. <laughs> when you do, it's like at most two hits. Or four if you're lucky. Like, I feel like 70% of the fight is spent waiting if you don't have the tools to fight him. One of those things that's more just like a spectacle fight. It's like, oh, you don't know what's lurking underneath you. But again, it's like... Once you experience something more than once, obviously it's going to get repetitive. That's just the nature of things. I'm not even going to... Actually, it'll tell me. Let me not even practice. I'm going to take a deep breath and realize that I'm bad at the game. I'm putting on a literally anything to deal with this because... Like, I know I wasn't really switching souls, but it just makes things quicker. Hold on, like... No, that was great. Yeah, they really... They really mom arm you with, with the, uh, <laughs> like, the red stuff. Like, I feel like they should have given you the ability to move underwater for that fight, because, like, in the boss rush, the, the boss fight is a lot more fun.